In this video, we'll be using IntegraMap to automate your job search. We're going to use the RSS function in IntegraMap. And once you understand how to create this automation, you'll be able to create a range of others too. The main tool we'll be using in this project is IntegraMap. You can sign up for an account at IntegraMap.com. We'll be using IntegraMap's free plan for this project. However, if you exceed the limits defined on their pricing page or use a premium automation, you will need to upgrade your IntegraMap plan. Also, we'll be using the WeWork Remotely RSS feed to source jobs. And we'll automatically be emailing ourselves the latest jobs via IntegraMap. For convenience, I've timestamped this video in the description. The first step in the automation is to set up the RSS feed in IntegraMap. You'll need to make sure you've created an IntegraMap account and logged in. IntegraMap labels automations as scenarios. Hence, to create our first automation, we must click Scenario. Then, click Create a new scenario. Now, you'll want to search for RSS and select that. Then you'll want to search for email and once you've found it, select that. From here, let's click continue. We can now begin defining the steps of our automation. First, we'll want to configure the RSS feed. Let's click on the RSS. We can now define its trigger. For the purposes of our project, we'll want to define the RSS trigger as retrieve RSS feed items. Now we can tell the RSS feed where to look. To get the URL, let's go to the WeWork Remotely RSS feed page. And let's say you're interested in only getting sales and marketing roles. We can copy the URL for the RSS feed, then go back to IntegraMap and paste that into the URL field. In the date from field, I'm going to enter 2021 05 03. That means the automation will only search for entries from that date onwards. The link online help explains the format in which dates should be entered. With maximum number of returned items, I'll set that to 2. Of course, you could enter a much larger number, but I'll keep it small for this project. Now click OK. We'll now want to add the next module, Email. Let's add another module, that module being Email. We'll want to set the action event to send me an email. This action will send you an email to the email address you use to join IntegraMap. Now we can define the format of each email, i.e. each role it will send. In the subject line, let's dynamically insert data from the RSS feed. Let's make the subject line of each email the title of a job post. In the content of the email, let's dynamically insert data from the RSS feed. On the first line, let's insert the title. On the second line, let's insert the URL. And below that, let's insert the description. Now click OK. Let's define when our automation should run. Along the bottom, click Schedule Settings. Let's set the run scenario to every day. And let's set the time to, let's say, 10 o'clock. Now click OK. Let's click the wand to auto align our functions. And along the top, let's rename our automation. I'll name it Sales and Marketing 
WWR. WWR meaning we work remotely. Let's now test our automation. Click run once. If you created the automation correctly, you should get two emails with roles. Let me switch over to my inbox so we can see what they look like once we've opened the email. With the email open, you'll see what the posting looks like. It's fantastic. It has all of the information that we need. With that working, we can go back to Integromat. Now you can turn the scheduling on. We already set the scheduling rules. And we can now exit editing. Our automation is created. And if we go back to the scenarios page, you'll see that it is active and will execute as per our set rules. As mentioned at the beginning, once you get this working, you'll be able to get a whole range of other similar automations working in Integromat 2. I hope this automation saves you a ton of time. This project is now complete. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this no-code project, please give this video a like. And if you want to be notified of the latest projects that I publish every week, please subscribe. I'll see you in another no-code project.